If you are the top engineer in your company, it's your top engineer in your company, there are millions of top engineers in their company. If you want to really compete with anyone in this world, and you want to really compare with anyone in this world, compete with your own self. You're never number one. You're number one, and that's it. This will make you stressless. Winston Churchill used to say, to succeed, never compare and never compete. Compete with your own self, and that's it. That would be more than enough. You will never be Ahsan Wahad Bikon. All you can be is Ahsan Wahad image on him. And that's it. Two, don't ever forget you were granted two ears and one mouth. Meaning, somebody, God, wanted us to speak less and listen more. Two ears and one mouth. We were, we were supposed to listen more and speak less. Three, quickly, don't be an elephant. Be an elephant. Elephants, Henry Uzgar, used to be tied to a rope not to escape. And they were never, they always tried to break away from the rope, but it never happened. When they grew up and became the huge elephants, they never tried to escape the rope. Lanur mindset the mom believes and they tried when they were young and it didn't happen. Tip behind this story. Be flexible. Don't be like elephants. Accept diversity in life. Be open to anyone. You will need all people to create the life you want to live. Think interdependency. Think interdependency in life. We all need each other. I need your mind, you need my heart, I need your skill, you need my attitude. We all need each other. And be a giraffe. Why a giraffe? Always think that if I had a longer neck, what would I say? Would, would, what, I, would what I have said been stopped somewhere and filtered? Imagine that you have a long neck and don't spell out actions and words without really being filtered. They will rule you. Whatever you say and whatever you do in this world will give an image of you, the real you. So not only say the right thing at the right time, escape saying the wrong thing at the tempting moment. When you're violent and in anger, and I know everything about you, when we have a fight, the whole world knows all your secrets. And I start ruining your life. Because you're angry and you're mad. And this is what happens. Suddenly, secrets are revealed. Okay? Think about that. Don't sort your relationships. Thomas Edison, in interviews, used to invite candidates over a bowl of soup. If they salted the soup before tasting it, they were not hired. And you always used to say, how can people judge the soup before tasting it? And now ask yourself, how many relationships are being salted in your life? without being really tasted and really experienced very well. Yani salt is judging. So when Lamahat salt al soup, he didn't taste the soup. Some people How did you relate it to the Salt in your relationship. So some, a lot of times you don't know the other person. You just hear about them. This is salting your relationships. This is what you know about and you hear about. It. Remember Socrates' story. A man passed by Socrates and told him, I want to tell you a story about one of your students. And so Socrates asked him, are you sure about it? So he said, no, I'm not sure about it. So I know, is it good or bad? I know, I think it's a bad. I know, will it be of use to me? I know, no, it will not be of use to me, of use to you. So Socrates asked him, you want to tell me a story about one of my students you're not sure about, you only heard about, and it's a bad story. And it's not of use to me, I don't want to hear it. What do we do, us, Abita? I know the story about this, and it moves, and it moves, and the circle grows. And we simply enjoy ruining people because we know information. Information is a source of power. Be ethical when you pass information, be moral. This might happen to you. Always remember that this might happen to you. Remember the golden rule. Treat people as you like to be treated. Okay? Quick tips, few more tips. Hadashif, did you ever watch Patch Adams? Yeah. It's a beautiful movie and the story of the four fingers. So Patch Adams, one patient, Patch Adams the doctor, he states, and had like three hospitals. But when he started his career, he lived for four years in one of the hospitals to meet patients. 
So one of the patients asked him, how many are those? He answered four. So the patient told him it's wrong. And really, if you go and put the four fingers in front of you, facing, facing a wall, and you really focus on your four fingers, they are not four anymore. They might be eight, and you might see 12 fingers. The whole idea of the four fingers is to go beyond what you see in people. Remember to focus on their feelings and their needs. There is plenty more of what you see. Don't only see what is standing in front of you. Try to see what we hide. Don't only hear what people are saying. Try to listen to what is not being said. This is much more important. Quickly, when you want to criticize, you spoke about that. Criticize what happened and not the person. We are all born to be good. We are all born to be good. And if, not, if I'm not good enough for you, one thing you can do is to help me be a better person instead of criticizing me and instead of gossiping about me. Help me be someone better. This is how you can start your effect. Ask yourself, will this, will this matter a year from now? We're in a conflict. And one year from now, we will be smiling to each other. So Hanul, was it worth it? If it's not worth it in a year, it should not be worth it now. Another important tip, the 140 characters of Twitter. Twitter is very nice. And Facebook status is very nice. And WhatsApp is amazing. OK? Just remember this. If you want to create a legacy in this world, go connect to people. You cannot connect to people via screens. You need to go. They need your presence, your touch, your look, your well-being, your being with them. It's much more important than the, virt than the virtual connection with people in your life, OK? And last two things before we end today. Take time alone. The only person in this life we are not giving, we are not giving him or her enough attention is us. What's up with yourself? Sing to yourself. Write to yourself, read a book, go have a walk. Be in peace with yourself in order to be in peace with the world. In peace, not in pieces. In peace, yes, not in pieces. Beautiful, and we feel. Be in peace, not in pieces. And drop your negative self-talk. You will face plenty of problems in your life. You will wake up plenty of days and say to yourself, it's a bad life, it's a bad day, I don't know how I will make it. You look into this mirror and you love what you see. You love what you see. You're granted five senses and that's enough. You can see, you can hear, you can touch, you can feel. Now, you can walk, you have your hands, you have a mind and you have a heart and that's enough to do something worth it in this world. You have to be courageous enough to choose to be in harmony with yourself. And what can you do when you leave this room? It's up to you. You can be a showmaker, or you can be a spectator. You can create something, starting this right moment. Nobody is better than you. There are young people who are changing the world. And the world, by not being the globe, a small world, start somewhere. Be a caring and a peaceful uh, uh, impact to anybody in this world. Start now. You have the ability to really make a difference right now, right now. So when you go home, keep those balloons with you, please. And right on the other face, on the other side of the balloon, draw your happy you. And every morning decide, do you want to be this person or this person? This will live alone. This will change the world. You decide about that. You take that decision. Connect later on 